I'm going to unzip your skin and wear you like a little coat. Looks like we're talking about the demon cat. It should be known that it's possible that the demon cat is a part of a larger species, however this is yet to be confirmed, so for now we're just going to assume that this is the only one. So as always, let's start with its appearance. The demon cat boasts a teal covered body, with two of its limbs being disconnected from its body but still held in place by magic. There's also a long tendril that acts as its tail, however unlike a normal tail, it instead spreads throughout the whole section of its body. It also has retractable claws that seem to be about 2-4 to four inches in length, along with incredibly sharp teeth. Lastly, the creature possesses a lore that has the exact same look of a normal kitten. This tongue is prehensile and can be used like a fifth limb. Interestingly enough, if the creature is physically hurt, it is shown that fur flares up, showing that the teal color is actually from its fur, not skin. It also shows that the tendril going through its body is also covered in a thin layer of fur as well. Lastly, if the cat is angered, it seems that blood fills its eyes, causing them to go bloodshot red. As for behavior, this thing is a tad interesting because it is both very malicious but way more intelligent than most creatures on the list so far. This becomes pretty clear when you realize that they can not only just strategize, but also guess almost correct information on who you are even without having met you. As I said prior, they are malicious and possess a very sadistic personality, with them going out of their way to cause as much pain to their targets as physically possible, including the intention of, for example, skinning someone alive and then wearing them like a little coat. Lastly, they have an irrational fear of dogs and will flee any fight just to get away if there is even a chance of there being one. Although not confirmed, I am pretty sure these guys are plucked and stored in dungeons as guardians, kind of like how a pet owner would get a cat if they have a mice problem. Whether or not they eat for food or for pleasure is currently unknown. That being said, we do know that they sleep and will create a lair with some form of bedding. The only confirmed demon cat can be found in the dungeon of the Crystal Eye, and his lair is just a spitting distance away from the Crystal Eye's chamber. As for killing these things, both luckily and sadly, there isn't much to it. They are harmed by any and all attacks and have no unique resistances. A typical weapon such as a sword or axe will get the job done. The only major thing to worry about is that it would be equivalent to fighting a tiger, except slightly worse as the thing is able to thrash around above average adventurers pretty easily. My personal advice is simple. To avoid one entirely, bring a dog with you, whether they be one of the usual non-talking ones or a dog that can also work as a partner. Because as I said before, no matter what you think you're going up against, never go alone. To kill one, long distance combat is always my go-to. The creature lacks long range attacks, so bow and arrows, or a well-placed fire spell, or to be honest, most elemental or offensive spells, will most likely get the job done. Just make sure it doesn't close the distance, otherwise it's going to skin you alive. Anyway, that's all I got for this entry into the Ubestiary. Thanks to my patrons on Patreon, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye.